Jonathan Major's trial on domestic assault charges began this week, and the fourth day of testimony revealed new details his defense had long sought to suppress about incidents between the actor and his ex-girlfriend, Grace Jabari, in the months before March 25th. People Magazine reports text messages from 2022 were presented by the prosecution during testimony on Friday D Gate that reveals that the Creed III actor apparently threatened to take his own life six months prior to the incident that led to him being arrested on domestic assault charges. The 34-year-old was charged with two counts of third-degree assault, aggravated harassment in the second degree, and harassment in the second degree after being arrested on March 25th. The Loki actor's domestic assault trial began in New York City on Dexper 4, and text messages between Majors and Jabari were revealed in court on Friday, had previously been ruled inadmissible evidence. Judge Michael Gaffey ruled Friday morning that defense lawyers' questioning of Jabari earlier this week had opened the door to allow the text messages into evidence, People reports. Jabari reportedly planned to go to the hospital after hurting her head during a separate alleged argument with Majors last September in London. Assistant District Attorney Kelly Galloway read the text messages of the actor threatening to harm himself, and Jabari broke down in tears while reading them to the jury shortly afterward. I fear you have no perspective of what could happen if you go to the hospital, Majors purportedly wrote. They will ask you questions, and as I don't think you actually protect us, it could lead to an investigation, even if you do lie, and they suspect something. He also allegedly wrote, It's just fake, but it was unclear what exactly he was referring to in the texts. I will tell the doctor I bumped my head, replied Jabari. I will tell the doctor I bumped my head if I go. I'm going to give it one more day, but I can't sleep and I need some stronger painkillers. That's all. Why would I tell them what really happened when it's clear I want to be with you? Majors later threatened to unalive himself, writing, Last night I considered killing myself versus coming home. I need love, too. Or maybe I'm such a monster and horrible man. I don't deserve it. And I should just kill myself. In this way, my existence is miserable. I want to die. Jabari responded that she wouldn't mention his name if she sought medical attention, and she understood his fear. I will not go to the doctor if you don't feel safe with me doing so. Or don't trust me to, replied Jabari. I promise you, I would never mention you, but understand your fear. I will probably kill myself. It's not really contemplating anymore, Majors responded back. I'm a monster, a horrible man, not capable of love. I'm killing myself soon. Jonathan, you can't say this. I'm going to have to tell someone, replied Jabari. According to the outlet, Majors kept his head down with his hands in his lap as the texts were read aloud and briefly looked up at the jury afterward. The outlet also noted it obtained a 115-page filing by prosecutors that included photographs of Jabari's hand, shoulder, and buttocks, with more text messages referencing punching and discussing pain. Jabari testified Friday that she initially tried to protect Majors while being treated at a hospital following the March 24th argument. Majors was arrested the next day after he called 911 when he found Jabari had locked him out of their bedroom after she went to a nightclub following their altercation that the prosecution's case is centered on.